Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot and I'm really happy to see you guys. My Taurus baby is here for your first reading of March 2023 Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus Placement and Ace of Cups. Yeah, <laughs> this is for you guys. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Come on, Six of Cups. Okay. Guys, before we start, um, please comment, like, and subscribe if you want to support me and my channel. I would be really happy about that. And make sure to stay tuned until the end of the reading because I'm going to get out oracle cards that will help us define a direction for your energies here, okay? And also, I will be getting out love oracle cards. So whether you're single or in a relationship, we will see some energies more detailed energies for you regarding your love life, okay? <clears throat> you can also always check out the reading of your moon, Venus, and rising sign too if you need more messages. All right, so the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups <laughs> are the first three cards of your reading, Taurus, and I really have to say, so for some of you guys, there will be a past person returning, offering you their cup full of love, okay? And also commitment, for most of you, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. These are amazing energies already, very powerful new beginnings. Queen of Pentacles, Strength. We have here as well. And we have the Queen of Wands. Nice, so you could be dealing with a Leo for some of you, okay? Or someone with significant Leo placements. Um, you could have some significant Leo placements. We do have Earth energy here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and some water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is what I'm seeing here, okay? So I do think this person comes back and they want to offer you commitment. They still have lots of feelings for you. And also, it's a general reading. If it's not about a romantic connection here, could be a friend or family member coming back wanting to reconcile. So if this is not about love for you, for most of you, this is about a romantic um, connection, but if it's not, you can take out the romantic context, okay? So this person has grown a lot, I think, with the Queen of Wands energy. They're very ready to give, and they view you as the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of your gender, okay? Tarot is just working with masculine and feminine energies, Taurus, and they view you as their Queen of Pentacles. They think you're very nurturing, caring, you are committed, you are very powerful, um, creating energy, right? Earth energy is very, very powerful. And this person here has lots of feelings for you, as I said before, and I do think they've been through a cycle here. They've grown a lot, Queen of Wands and Strength. I do think they're very compassionate. Maybe they got back their self-confidence. Let me see. Wow, Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And the King of Wands. So we do have a divine couple here as well. Okay. Very good match is what I'm seeing here. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. There could have been a time where this person felt like they needed to defend themselves a lot or you. So maybe there have been arguments in the past. But they do want to harvest the fruits of your heart, of the hard labor, you guys, the effort you've been putting in into this connection. Maybe there was a bit of a no contact situation here um, for some of you, but they are ready here for this next chapter. And they do think that this connection is going to be very, very successful and they are believing in it. Taurus, if you are in a relationship already and this is describing your current relationship and you've had a bit of a struggle with this person, this is definitely a very good match. This is your soulmate is what I'm feeling here for lots of you. And you can expect a new beginning within your relationship as well, okay? Ooh. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, and the Page of Swords. So I do think the path is clear for them. Maybe there was a bit of ambivalence in the beginning. Um, two of Swords, okay, they were maybe struggling with making a decision and maybe you as well, so you could be mirroring each other. Three of Swords is a heartbreak card, so definitely there were hurt feelings for both of you and the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very fast moving 
energy, okay? And the Knight of Swords comes in, they're very self-confident, they know what they want, and they're going to tell you. And also, it's a lot of air energy here, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, you could expect definitely communication coming in. And the Page of Swords here as well. I do think they're very clear about what they want, um, about what they want to tell you. They have the right direction. They're coming in with wishy-washy energy is what I'm saying. They're coming in with a plan, okay? Yeah, look at that. Bottom of the deck was the Fool for you. So definitely a brand new beginning for you and this person here, the brand new chapter. Um, also, the Fool has no weight of the past, okay? So they're coming in with lots of fresh energy and they're coming in with this beautiful full mindset where they just want to take that leap of faith because the feelings are so strong, okay? They have lots of feelings for you guys. Let me see some monology oracle cards for Taurus. <clears throat> we have Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. And then we have nothing is yet set in stone. Hold your vision and a time for healing. So these monology cards are very powerful as well. Nothing is yet set in stone. So maybe for some of you, you feel like this relationship does not have a chance anymore. And maybe, you know, you guys are in a no contact situation. You feel like this person is not coming back, but they will be coming back. And I think they will be coming in um, really, really fast. Okay. So hold your vision and a time for healing and also balance spirituality and practicality. It's like this beautiful balanced out Pisces energy here. And also seeing two sides of the story. Now we will proceed with the Miss Rose Tarot Divine Guidance Oracle Cards. Before we move on to the Love Oracle Cards. And these cards, I made them for my channel. They have lots of different themes for different areas of the life. And we will just check out what themes are very important for you, Taurus. Yeah, so we have to take a step back and reflect and reconsider. And you are radiating and everyone sees it. Nice. Okay, so maybe you're feeling really good with yourself at the moment. You are healed. Or you have been healing quite a bit from the past hurt. You are um, feeling really good with, it, with yourself. And that's really important. I love seeing that for you. Okay, you're protected. It's really nice as well. Really beautiful. It's also a sign for you that it's safe for you to open up and be vulnerable. Trust the path and believe in yourself. And love is all around you, love is inside of you, and love is coming into your life. So I do think you're radiating, and you're sending out the right frequencies, and you are attracting the love like a magnet. Okay, so romance is going to be really important for you, Taurus. Let me see some romance angel oracle cards for you. Getting to know each other and express your love. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. And when we talk about a reconciliation here or, you know, somebody you shared a past with, we can also say getting to know each other again, right? And this card also talks about being vulnerable and letting people in and that it, you know, and it's safe for you, you're protected. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This could be for both of you, for you and this person, Knight of Swords and Page of Swords, so I do think they're going to be very expressive. Well, there are too many. They just, this one though. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I was saying that it's like with the Knight of Swords, we can definitely see they're going to come in at a very fast pace, okay? And then we have reconciliation. Yes, someone from your past is returning into your life. We can see that. Now, let's talk about what this person has been feeling for you. What are their thoughts? For that, we have the Hidden Truth Oracle Cards. And it says, finding out the truth crushed me. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I remember every detail of that day. So there could have been a specific day, something that they remember, something that they're clinging on to. I replay our conversations over and over. I lost myself for a little while. I wish I could share my good news with you and I don't react when people mention you. So I wish I could share my good news with you. It's such a beautiful message. They're just like, they really want you in their life and they want to share 
their good news with you. They want to share their happy feelings with you. They miss you. I lost myself for a little while, okay? But they're coming back, grown, right? We have this energy here. And they the time for them was needed, okay? I replay our conversations over and over. I remember every detail of the day. They are just so much... No, you're just so much in their head, Taurus, okay? And they're thinking about you a lot. Finding out the truth crushed me. Take this how it resonates for you. Could be that they're thinking or feeling that you're starting to move forward, moving on forward, okay, Taurus? I can see that you're definitely feeling yourself, that you are in a good place. But I think they may be afraid that you're moving on and that they don't... Uh, have a chance with you anymore that's why i'm feeling that they're coming in very very soon okay they feel like they they need to take action all right taurus this was your reading for the first half of march 2023 if you want to support me please leave a thumbs up you can leave a comment as well and of course i would be very happy if you became a subscriber i'm uploading bi-weekly readings and pick a card readings and collective love messages so it would be awesome to see you on my channel more often Bye guys, take care and stay hydrated.